is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we are doing my WWE TLC 2019 predictions video. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so this card is pretty lackluster. There's only two matches I'm looking forward to. Uh, however, starting things off, we have the Raw Tag Team Championship Open Challenge issued by the Viking Raiders. My predictions for this, I believe it will either be Gallows and Anderson, the Street Profits, or AOP. And in my opinion, I believe that whichever team faces them is going to dethrone them for the championships. Moving on. Next up, we have the New Day versus The Revival for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I believe that Big E and Kofi Kingston of The New Day are going to be retaining the championships. Uh, ever since Kofi lost the WWE title, I think this SmackDown Tag Team Championship run has sort of been their way of apologising. Uh, and I don't believe that he's going to be losing it anytime soon. Maybe WrestleMania, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm sticking with The New Day. Next up, we have probably one of the matches with the longest build on the card, to be honest. Bobby Lashley versus Rusev in a tables match. I believe it should have been a Lana on a pole match, but never mind. Uh, we have Rusev versus Bobby. I believe that Rusev will be winning. Uh, obviously, this feud has been going on for ages now. And uh, everyone's like, give Rusev a chance. You know, Rusev deserves better. But realistically, before this, how much TV time did Rusev have? Exactly. And uh, so I believe, well, look at it. He's getting a slot on Raw. Been in the main event a few times. He's getting a slot on Raw every single week. What more can you ask for? Yes, he has to see his real life wife do stuff with um, another man, which must suck. Of course, that must suck. But at the end of the day, I believe that Rusev's going to be winning this rivalry. Next up, we have the second match I'm looking forward to the most. Alistair Black versus Buddy Murphy. These two are, well, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't want another Styles Nakamura situation, but hopefully these two will tear the house down and steal the goddamn show. Um, I have been waiting for this match for ages. Obviously, Alistair Black has been pleading with the roster for someone to knock on his door and fight him. Finally, Buddy Murphy answered that call, and these two probably some of my favourite wrestlers or definitely in my opinion some of the best wrestlers on the current roster today and I would love to see them mix it up. I can't wait, I'm going with Alistair Black. Next up we have a tables, ladders and chairs match between the big dog Roman Reigns and Baron Corbin or should I say King Corbin. Uh, Reigns is winning. I don't care about this feud but Reigns is winning. Will he win the Rumble as well? Probably. I don't know. But anyway, oh, I don't know. The Rumble's up in the air, but screw it. It's TLC first. Roman's winning this match. Next up, we have what will most likely be the main event of this pay-per-view, unfortunately. The Women's Tag Team Championships TLC match between the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka and Kairi Sane versus Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. I don't care. I'm sorry. Stop putting Becky and Charlotte together for crying out loud. Push people other than the four horse women. Um, I'm just really, I really don't care. I just, I just don't. I just don't. I mean, it, the match will be good, hopefully, but whenever Charlotte and Becky are on screen, I'm just sick of it. It's like, you know when you eat too much chocolate and you're just like, Ugh. that's how I am with uh, Becky and Charlotte now. Whenever I see them on screen together, I just think, God, just please let it end. But yeah, either way, I've got Asuka and Kairi Sane retaining. And finally, the match I'm looking forward to the most, just to see the execution of it. I don't know if it is for the Universal Championship, so I'm not listing it for the Universal Championship. Uh, but we have got Bray Wyatt, not The Fiend, not The Fiend, normal Bray Wyatt, Funhouse Bray, taking on The Miz. I am very interested to see how they do this. One, I want to see what Funhouse Bray will wear to the ring. I want to see what attire he will wear. Two, I want to know what moves he will do. I'm interested to see how they do it because they've shown Funhouse Bray in the past to sort of be the, why are you doing this? Like, you know, obviously in the feud with Seth. So will The Miz get the upper hand and absolutely hammer him? Like, that's, that's a genuine thought going through my head. Will The Miz absolutely batter Bray Wyatt? just for the fiend to then come out and batter them is. I'm very excited, not necessarily the match itself, but I'm very excited to see the execution. I'm not getting my hopes up because you learn with WWE, probably not the best thing to do that, but 
I hope that they can deliver to a good level. Anyway, TLC this Sunday. That has been my predictions. I will be watching the show. Zach will not. Um, I will be watching it alone and I will make some reaction videos. Uh, however, that has been my TLC predictions for 2019. The final pay-per-view of the decade. Hopefully, they can go out with a bang, but the likelihood of it is very minuscule. Anyway, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more wrestling content, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.